In this video, we're going to be talking about how to implement delegate methods on user interface controls. Later on, we'll have another video about how to create your own protocols and delegates. But for now, we're going to focus on implementing existing delegate methods. A protocol is a way for a class to promise to implement certain functionality. So to use an example, a certified electrician has a certain set of skills. So if you need to have something done in your house that requires one of those skills, then you should be able to choose any certified electrician to do the job. For example, when we build a house, we need to run wires and connect plugs and so on. So we delegate that responsibility to a certified electrician who will then do that job for us. A delegate is an object which has signed up to a protocol. An object which has agreed to perform certain functionality for another object. And you'll see this in action later on in the video. In CocoTouch, every control has one or more delegate methods. Each control broadcasts messages, and these can then be picked up by any class that implements the correct protocol. If we want our class to read those messages, we have to tell our class to implement the protocol that's required. Let's look at the documentation for the UI text view delegate. And as you can see, there's a number of messages that get passed when we interact with UI text view. In our example, the most useful ones are did begin editing, did end editing, text view did change, text view did change selection, and so on and so forth. It's very easy to find the delegate methods for any one of the controls we're going to be using. If we want our object to be a delegate for the controls, we have to implement the correct protocol. And in the header file, we specify the protocol after the parent class. As you can see from this example, our class is now implementing UI text view delegate. Once we've done this, we can go to the implementation file and for the controls we want to listen to, we have to tell the control who its delegate is. And in this case, we're saying its delegate is this class. And once we've done that, we simply add the delegate methods to the implementation file. And these will then get triggered when our class receives the messages. As you can see, even though the concept of protocols and delegates sounds really complicated, it's actually very simple to implement in your code. 